As soon as they say action, you just have to think about killing. Like you go there and you just have to pretend you're a murderer. It was such a fun movie. Um, while definitely not a comedy, still has its share of satire and humor. You know, what do you think was the key to making this just right on that perfect line of giving that that laugh while being a really successful, in my personal opinion, slasher film. It's Landon, the director, is so good at this. He did Happy Death Day, and he does a great job of really making the scare scary. And but it's also very funny. And he he does it. It's a hard thing to pull off, but he really does a great job of balancing and bringing both of those things into one movie. There's also the element of like you kind of are rooting for the butcher. You know, you end up liking him which you don't see a lot. You usually just want the bad guy to go down, but the bad guy's kind of doing some some good things for Millie in a really weird, messed up way. For you, of course, this is a body swap movie. It is something that I think, Vince, you were very believable as a teenage girl, and it was almost terrifically frightening seeing you transform Catherine. Um, were there any habits or processes that you did uh, as actors or together that really helped bring this to life? Because there are some dance moves and some really great stuff for folks that I think were. But the joy was really doing it with Catherine. I mean, we both came with really good ideas for the characters and then we kind of went in the lab and started to compare thoughts. And I was just inspired by a lot of her, you know, thoughts and takes. And then the physicality and those kinds of common thread stuff was stuff that we we both kind of worked on. And it was it was a blast to do it. The process was really exciting and different. I have watched this movie twice. I absolutely think it is such an amazing progressive twist on both a slasher film and a high school film. And it really upgrades the genre tropes of characters, particularly with Josh and Nyla. Do you think for you both in your choice to play these roles that when you read the script, this was like, oh, this is it. It's a twist. This is what I want to do. And do you feel like there was a, a part of you that wanted to really make these characters change the paradigm? Yes, absolutely. I, I think there's there's something so amazing about a filmmaker like Chris Landon and our writer, Michael Kennedy, who they wrote our characters in full well knowing the meta nature of what we were going for. I mean, even in that line that is in the trailer, you're black, I'm gay, we are so dead. It's an openly queer character and a proudly black character talking about what normally happens to folks like us in films like this and in society. And the fact of the matter is it doesn't happen to us. And you know, watch the film, no spoilers, but like, it's very much about us commenting on what normally happens to characters like us in society. These, and, and that read on paper, th these are two queer filmmakers that were making a statement by having very developed, humanized, invested characters be at the center of this story. And I think that's brilliant. For me, when I read the script, I was I was kind of waiting for the moment where, where the, I don't know if this is a little bit of a spoiler, but I was kind of waiting for the moment where the black character dies <laughs> and we don't get there. And I think for me, it was it was really important to see a black girl who not only survives to the end of the story but is pretty central in moving the plot forward I and mean, i think it's so important that that black characters and queer characters are not only just like tolerated or we just survive but that we are actually like central to these stories for me i, I wanted to bring kind of my own uh determination and i think that me and Nyla are, are similar in that way. Um, like I, I was asked before, is this how I, I would respond if I was in this situation? And I think it really is. Like, I think that if I was in this situation, I would be like, all right guys, meeting right now, what is the plan and how are we going to address this? For me, I think everything comes down to not apologizing for Josh's gayness or in real life, my queerness. And Chris and Michael were, were so supportive of that. Josh is outlandish, but he's not outlandish for any other reason that he's not apologizing for being out proud and gay. And even when Josh is talking to his mother and there's moments, the, Josh's mother, the, the point of contention is not that her son is queer. That's fine, that's wonderful. The point of contention is the killer that is after all of them. So I think in the confines of a ridiculous and scary film, we see this amazing queer character who's not apologizing for their queerness. And y'all know I certainly don't do that either, so. Really something that stood out for, for me in your depiction, like even from the moment of waking up as the butcher, 
Were there any inspirations or things that you leaned on that really gave you a, an idea of how you wanted to play that character? It was definitely fun to transform because I'm way more like Millie. I'm such a nerd and a dork and like grandma. And so to remember who the butcher is as soon as they say action, you just have to think about killing. Like you go there and you just have to pretend you're a murderer. Even like the scenes where like I'm eating, I'm like the butcher would not have manners. They would, he would use his hands. Like all of these things went into your thoughts that, and having Vince to bounce ideas off of, he was there on set, you know, and just to be like, what do you think the butcher would do here is so cool. I mean, he's brilliant and he's so funny. So I was just so excited to get to work with him and then to have ideas to go off of, it's blown away.